we're an ever busy world, and that's quite clear especially these days. With a new consensus to a more digitalized workforce amidst natural disasters and global pandemics, more and more people will need productive households. But what will transportation look like, as we look towards hopefully better times ahead? Welcome to One Away. Make sure to watch this video till the end as we'll talk about the futures of our transport systems, and some reasons to invest in them before it's too late. Before that, please leave us a like if you find that video useful. And consider a subscription to this channel for updates on our latest videos. Future 1, Renewable Fuels most know it by this point. The price of fuels have gotten very expensive, and the environmental costs are quite high. All of this requires energy, and these energy requirements take from resources that are already quite depleted. In fact, a report from the HSBC states that if the population of humanity continued this trend, we continue some ill effects by 2050. Two times or double the demand for total energy. Over 190 barrels of oil a day, but with the increased demand of 110% carbon increase in the atmosphere that would take around five times more the usual amount to keep temperatures to a safe level. Even options like sources of natural gas seem futile, with a ridiculous price tag of $200 per barrel. And coal for energy conversions has all but been declared as one of the dirtiest sources of energy. This is especially true for transportation. It's nice to think that we can all work online and live our lives apart from one another. But if recent reports in psychology and economy, based on the global pandemic are taken into account, it's not good for humans and it wrecks the economy. So in some issue or another, we need better, safer transport systems. And, we need them at a sustainable, ecological rate. We have the sources for study such as Solar from the sun Turbines from wind channels Biomass from all our waste Geothermal from certain locations Hydro from the ocean it's probably no question that more and more cars and buses will get deployed later on, especially in relatively poor countries. So it's probably high time we look past at our need for profit and think about the big picture. If there's any time to focus and invest in fuels from renewable energy sources, these days are as good as time as any. Future 2, the fifth mode of transport. Many probably know the categories of transportation. Some are by the sea. Some are by land, cables and some are by skies. Of course, some transport doesn't necessarily line up with these, such as space transport for example. In recent years though, some researchers have thought about the expansion of a fifth kind of transport. For example, take the thoughts of Franco Cotana, a professor at Industrial Technical Applied Physics in Perugia, Italy. Many of these ideas are a re-evaluation of pipeline transport systems. But of course taken to the next level. And ironically, the project is called PipeNet, which started at the University of Perugia at around 15 years ago. It proposes a rather innovative take for a new transportation system. One that is relatively low in cost, and sustainable for the environment. It functions via a network of pipes with linear electrical engines that are frictionless and are powered by renewable energy sources. Commercial goods, for example, are encapsulated and transported at a velocity greater than 1,500 km per hour, and with a capability of 1 ton per second. This overall scheme can give an almost physical internet type of speed via a network where one product can get taken from one location to another. And that's in real time. But that's for commercial goods, which are quite important in this day and age. The researchers have also speculated on the probable use of drones to assist in the transports. Whether this fifth network-based transportation will work for the human population across the land, sea or even the skies, is too early to tell. But, if it works well for commercial goods, there's probably more research to come for human participants to have the discussion. Future 3, Convenient Drivers The thought of self-driven featured cars can both fascinate and terrify. But, it seems a very plausible future given that many of the projections have estimated about 10 million of these cars are in the plans. Even before these predictions, some blimps in the radar were already there. In Japan for example, known for many things traditional and high-tech, you can see everything from ancient family houses and shrines to fascinatingly fully functional, clean public bathrooms. It makes sense then that Japan had also tested out a hospitable robot guide for the elderly people and those with navigation problems, in order to have a safe ride. Outside the country, 
many have taken notice of the need for an otherwise hassle-free ride around locations. And, some people and workers even prefer an Uber or Grab car compared to the cost and maintenance of a personal car. If you can spot a pattern in the structure here, you'll know it's all about convenience. Compared to other reasonable futures out there, convenient, automated driver cars have a lot of purchase. The hidden cost. Like artificial intelligence, most technology and devices need data, in order for more sophisticated actions to take place. And, when it comes to services like automated cars, your data is highly important. The more sophisticated and convenient, the more data from you is needed. So, if you're into automated tech and cars, some of your privacy is at a risk. Something to think about certainly.